drinking was always something in my, with my ex-wife. She was just always one of those people. Like, every time you crack a beer, she's one of these, like... <laughs> you know people like that? <laughs> How many beers is that? Fifteen? <laughs> when did you start drinking? Shit. When you got here? <laughs> she made me watch this TV show on A&E called Intervention. Oh. You ever watch that show? Yeah. yeah, I learned something from watching that show. I learned this. I learned, if you ever come home to your house and your whole family's sitting around the kitchen table and you don't see a turkey, get your shit and run. Because <laughs> you're fixing to go to camp. And I told her, I said, let me tell you something. This stupid ass show ain't gonna make me quit drinking. She's like, oh yeah? How about this? I'm not gonna have sex with you anymore if I smell liquor on your breath. I was like, okay, I see where you're going with this. You wanna do it during the daytime. <laughs> and she's like, no, you moron. Anytime, if I smell liquor on your breath, you're cut off. I was like, well, that is a horrible thing to say to your husband. You can't hold something like that over my head. She's like, oh, I can't. Let's go back to last weekend. You come home drunk, you get in bed naked, your belly's jiggling all over the place. You're sweating everywhere, holding onto the bedpost, going 150 miles an hour, laughing at God only knows what. You spilt beer all over my pillow, and I think I heard you chewing on potato chips. <laughs> so let me tell you something. A lot of guys like having sex like that. She goes, I was in the other room, you jack. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes that's how I like it. <laughs> And she, she helicopter parents my kids, and I'm about to freak out, and I need a psychologist. I'm glad you're here, honey, because I'm not kidding. I'm going to lose it. So my son's about to finish fifth grade, and I get this phone call. And it's like, hey, you're gonna get, are you going to have a, a graduation party for Gatlin? You getting Gatlin a graduation cake? Gatlin, he's about to graduate. Graduation cake for fifth grade. Graduation. My, my new husband, my new husband, my new husband has a Lexus, and he got a graduation. I'm going to give a shit about it. <laughs> My mom got him a graduation cake. My sister got him a graduation cake. Everyone got it. If you loved your son, you'd get him a graduation cake. I'm like, a graduation cake for fifth grade? Fifth grade. Yes, if he's graduating, never going to another class again for the rest of his life, I will get him a fucking GED cake and an Arby's name tag, and he can be on with his life. You know, but if he's not going back to school, he's not graduating. We can't give kids shit for doing remedial things they're supposed to do. That's why they act like assholes now, because people just feed them shit. You know what I mean? Hey, look, he tied his shoe. How about a piece of cake? Celebrate his cake. He tied his shoe. He brushed his teeth. How about a piece of cake? Yay! His tooth fell out. Eat a piece of cake. Come on, buddy. He's got diabetes. Have a piece of cake, little buddy. Yay! We made a cake in the shape of the leg you used to have. Hop your ass over here. I think I blacked out. How am I doing over there, Doc? Do I need any help? Uh, I just lose it. 